Felipe, welcome to my channel. Thank you, Alex. Thank you for being here. We come up with this idea to make a video so that you can tell us your life, your journey living in Malta for how long now? One year and a half, Alex. One and a half. Yeah. And uh, giving information and advices to other people that are planning to move to Malta. Just like some people that are watching this video now doing a research about the island, whether it's good for them to move here or no, you did the same. Exactly, I did the same. And online you might have seen a lot of negative comments about Malta that they might draw you back and push you away from the island. So I came up with this uh, video idea. Malta is not as bad as people are saying on social media. Anyway, Felipe, where do you come from? Actually, I'm from Colombia. I'm from Bogota. I'm Latino. Nice. Uh, Hola. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so here there are a lot of us, but I came here without having that idea. Like we were a lot of here, but I what you what you said. Like I was doing my research. Mm -hmm groups, uh, Facebook groups, like, you know, like everywhere, even I was checking in other countries, uh, Ireland, Australia, New okay. Zealand, and you can find in all of where, all of these groups, like, hate yeah. about the country because not everyone has the same experience. lucky charm or something like that, or the experience, but in my case, Malta for me was like 360 <laughs> on everything. How long you've been here now? Uh, in July it's gonna be two years. Two years in July. Yeah. Okay. So, so now it's like one and a half. Exactly. A bit more. More exactly. Than one and a half. It's more, to nice. be honest. Did you have any expectations before you moved to Malta? Because you did a research. Now some people are watching this video and doing a research, so they might be doing an expectation. They might be thinking it's all butterflies and sun and sunshine and sea and positive vibe. Did you have any expectation about Malta? Okay, at the beginning, like when I was checking my the YouTube channel, because my mother was your really huge fan, she was hola, like, mama. she was like, okay, What's check Alex, name? Patricia, Patricia, hola Patricia. She was so like, check this guy, he has a really good vibes, everything. Of course, like I start watching your videos, and I was like, okay, subscribe. I was like, your mom hooked you up on my YouTube exactly. channel. Exactly. <laughs> That was nice. Um, my expectation was like, uh, okay, normally people think like, ah, uh, he's a YouTuber, he has to show the good stuff. But when he was checking your YouTube channel, you also, you know, like advantages, disadvantages yes. in a good I way. balance. Exactly, yeah. everything. Uh, even though um, I was like uh, hesitating a little bit because, I, you know, like I suffer about social media because yeah. sometimes people, they make up. But you were those of that kind of people who were like really, really trustworthy, you know, like oh, I was like, you. wow. Um, <laughs> thank you so much. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, he, he's doing a really good job. Um, therefore, I was checking groups like Latinos in Malta, Xbox okay. in Malta, um, a lot of things, you know, I was like contacting even on LinkedIn, people who were in Malta, checking the jobs and everything. I was like, okay, uh, I don't want to, my perspective about Malta was like, uh, okay, they have good parties, they have good yeah. vibe, they have good people. But as you said, like not everything is going to be like pink what color, exactly. exactly. And then I said like, okay, I- I'll give it a try. Exactly, I'm, I'm going to try, I'm going to try. And I end up here just because my father was convincing me as well. I was like, <laughs> go to Malta. There are nice people. Um, I came here. Um, look at me like now is one year. The time come fast, like, you know? Yes. Wow. In this one and a half year, how many jobs did you have? One, two, three, four, five, um, ten. No, I got actually this is my second job now. OK. In which I, sector do you work? Now I gaming. I gaming. I work as a product designer, focus on UX, UI. Okay. Which is the user experience, uh, user interfaces, like creating websites or interfaces for the user for mobile apps and okay. everything. Okay, that's good. Um, but before I was working for a media house agency in, okay. in Valletta um, as a graphic designer. That was my first job. I came here with the idea to, okay, I'm going to study, I'm going to do my master's degree, everything. I 
I was like a really focus, you know, like because I did my research proper. Mm -hmm. I was asking people how is the life, what is the main sectors, like I gaming, uh, let's say like uh, there are a lot of tourists here, like tourism. So I was like, okay, hospitality is quite a good sector. Um, but in this year, this year half, two jobs in total. Two jobs. When you were moving to Malta, when that was okay in <laughs> in 2022 exactly i think it is right yes wait 22 or 23 22 22 that was uh, post uh, covid and all the situation that uh, went crazy all over, all around the world when you moved to malta you had to find an apartment. Are you still in the same apartment or you changed? No, I changed. Uh, unfortunately, at the beginning it was quite tough mm -hmm. because... How did you find your first apartment? I was contacting people on Instagram, on Facebook, uh, on groups, on LinkedIn, okay. you know, like... Everywhere. Everywhere. I was like, because I'm really curious, I'm really picky. I was like, okay, I don't want to send money from my country to another country because there were a lot of people telling me like, be careful, don't send money without yeah. being there because maybe something happened. That happened in every country, yes. even in my country. But fortunately, I met two girls from my country and they were like, okay, we are renting this room, so you can come here. You can come here, sorry. Then you can have a look to the room. Okay. But I was like really, really sure about that room. When I arrived, I remember it was in July 25. Oh my God. 25th July. Yeah. Super hot. Yes, I was Boiling. in summer. I was like, you know, just imagine like three luggage yeah. and I was like car at midnight, oh you know? Oh my God, no. And I didn't have a clue that I have to go to from Lua to Swiggy. Ah, this apartment was in Swiggy. Exactly. Okay. They rent the room for, I remember that was quite costly. How much was it? Do you remember the exact price? Uh, 250 for one week, I remember. 250 euros yes, for one week? Because I was checking the hotels. And That's a thousand euros a month for a room. Uh, because it was wow. summer, you know, what the high, yeah. you know, like I was like, okay, I haven't found anything, so I have to take wow. it because I'm new here. I was like, okay. Unfortunately, two days after, the landlord asked for the flat and I have to move out. Oh my, and you already paid? Oh, no way. Exactly. Oh. And they didn't give me, they didn't give me back the money at all. But it was not because they didn't. I was like thinking more about like looking for a flight. I was like, okay, don't worry, leave it. Oh. They were so nice. So I don't complain because when I was checking the hotels, was like one Extreme, week for 500, 600. I was like, no, I don't have that amount of money. Yeah. Um, I was walking through Sliema. I went to the point. I met one girl. And you just meet girls here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every apartment girl. I was like, okay. I was like, okay. Can you help me with some friends or something like that? And she was like, okay, I have a friend. He rent me a bed like a bed space yeah, for one week for 100 euro. Oh I was like uh, really lucky. And next week, because I was like checking another flat before and it's like, uh, we have empty, you can move to Pieta. That was my first okay. spot. That was close to the um, Hamburg Stadium. Mm -hmm. And I went there. It was really good experience there. And now you live in an apartment on your own or you're sharing? No, I'm living in my own. Like I have okay. one, two, uh, one, uh, one bedroom apartment. I in live Chile? in Slema. In Slema. Uh, per, sorry, in, in Sida, sorry. In Sida, okay. Yeah. How much do you pay rent per month? That was a, a good deal, to be honest, because I met one friend. He was dating one f another friend, a Polish. And in that time, that was last year during July, he was paying like 650 for a one bedroom apartment yes. in Sida. And she said like, okay, or you take it or leave it. I was wow. like, a, I'm no. taking it. <laughs> exactly. Um, the landlord is really nice, Maltese, yeah. Maltese. lovely person. Mm -hmm. Really, you know, when I call him, when I need something, he run away right away. <laughs> like, you know, um, I got this good deal. Yeah. I have my kitchen, my bedroom, I have my nice. balcony, my bathroom, you know, nice. and with the expensive, normally it's like 50 euros plus. I wanted, to, I wanted to ask you the bills. So you're on your own in the apartment. So you pay like 50 euros for electricity and water per month. Exactly. Because okay. that flat includes the internet. 
Oh, that's so good. So I was really lucky the, f the flat is furnished and I was like, okay, I won't find out something like... When did you move? Which year? Uh, that was in last year, last in year. September mostly. So imagine this, you're moving to Malta and you're paying 250 per week in Sui. So uh -huh. that's a thousand euros per month for a room in a sharing apartment. Exactly. And now you're living in 2024 in an apartment that is 650 on your own. One bedroom apartment per month plus exactly. 50 euros for bills. It's less, 30% less than what you were paying when you moved to Malta. Incredible. I think that they might have used the opportunity, these ladies that you moved in, because that's an obnoxious amount of money for just one room, regardless whether it's summer. swiggy or summer or whatever it is. That's a lot of money. But a lot of people are using this opportunity. And I think that, were they Colombians like you as well? or uh, they were, Yeah, okay. they were from... I think city. that the major problem here in Malta when people are moving from one, from one country to Malta is they're trying to find people from their country and they think that they will be more trustworthy but in reality what I have seen from many experiences is that each time when you try to find people from your country to help you here they will actually try to use you as much as they can because a thousand euros it's insane. Yeah. Anyway, now you are... I. Now you're more stable. I mean, you work in a good position, you work in a good company, you earn good because you live on your own and you pay 650. You feel stable. You feel that you found the right piece. You are yes. where you should be. I think like once I change for my job from the first job, when I got the deal in this uh, gaming company, was they pay well. <laughs> exactly. There was like a, they triplicate my salary and I was like, a, okay, I'm going to move. I have the skills. But something that helped me, talking about like doing my research, like I was focusing on gaming before coming here. I was like, okay, what is I gaming? Okay. What they need there in the island, designers, programmers, you know, like I was focused on tech companies. I was like, okay, I need to learn those skills in a proper way. And I got involved in those mm -hmm. uh, fields. And when I apply here, of course, I was like, okay, what is iGaming? Because there are a lot of people who come here, what is yeah. iGaming? What is this? What is Sportsbook? What is Casino? Something yeah. like that. But f I, I am really curious, you know, because I start, start from zero, sometimes it's really tough and when you yeah. are from another country, for all of us. But it was a really good deal when I got this company. My life changed a lot since nice. then. I'm happy for you. I got my flat really cheap because nowadays it's quite it's expensive. Yeah. And also the, the salaries like due to the inflation around the world is like quite tough. But now everything is going well. Even the studies here. Do you think that Malta is expensive? Now in 2024, wow. you've been one and a half year here. Okay. Everyone is talking about Malta being expensive. Everyone is saying salaries are low. The cost of living is going up. You've been only one and a half year, but I think that the rise of the prices here in Malta started in 2023. Exactly. I agree with you. The thing is like, if I compare Malta with another country that I used to live, for example, I was living in France. Mm -hmm. uh, France, the deals there for the flats are insane. If mm -hmm. you go to Paris or if you go to the south. Paris you, can be like thousands of euros a month. Just imagine like you can find one flat for 20, 25 meters for 280 hand, to oh a, my God. 1,800 euro. <laughs> to live in a wardrobe. Exactly. <laughs> but no. the, here is like, now it's like, you know, like stable at the moment, yeah. uh, but unfortunately, uh, I the increasing from 2023 to 2024. Let's say like one bedroom now, I think is 550 euro. I think so. Uh, even if you look for slim or something, it's quite pricey. Mm -hmm. uh, groceries. I'm gonna how much be. How you spend on groceries? <laughs> that was another question. I always ask people. Okay. How much you spend on I'm gonna be honest with you. You order Volt and Bolt. <laughs> Not at all. I cook myself, but... Lucky. But we have a deal in our company, like one week, Monday, Wednesday and Fridays, we have breakfast. And from the company? From the company. Okay. So I don't have to spend that much. Do you see guys working in iGaming? <laughs> uh, also, also, like the, we have 
a good deal in the cafeteria there. Mm -hmm. we, you can get a, like a chicken wrap or a turkey wrap for five euro, wow. which is really good. It's like in a pastizzeria in Malta. Exactly. For me, I, normally in groceries, like doing my cleaning groceries, everything, I spend per month like 250 euro okay. in total. But I save a lot of money because sometimes like we have events or something like that. So I take advantage sometimes like, <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're like, going to have right. a lunch or brunch or whatever. I, I say like, okay, let's go there. It's not because I say like, I don't want to eat, but I take advantage. You take advantage of those yeah. stuff, you know? Um, and also that helps you to save a lot of money because when you come to another country, the first thing that you have to start doing it is save money yeah because you don't know like an emergency or something like that anything can happen you need to go to hospital you need to go to dentist you need to do god forbid if you need to spend money or something you know it's been one and a half year now since you moved in malta you passed your honeymoon period because the first few months is when you settle down <laughs> then after you settle down maybe third fourth month you start enjoying the life more you have a stable job you know your income you know your expenses and then you have like up until the sixth to the end to the ninth month, I say this is the honeymoon period. And then from once one year it's completed, you already know whether this is a place that you want to stay or no. Exactly. Some people understand this way more earlier. Some people, they understand this after two, three years living in this country. Depends. In this one and a half year, you experienced a lot of things on the island. What are the things that they make you happy here? What are the things that they keep you here? The thing is like, the, in turn, because I love traveling, Alex. Some, we have Europe, which is a really good gym. Like, you can go everywhere. everywhere for cheap flights. Exactly, cheap flights. You can go now to Sicily in the ferry or something like yeah. that. Um, you have access to whole Europe, with, which is something really nice for us. Um, the weather. To be honest, something is like compare. I used to live in Dubai, as you, yes, like me. you, <laughs> but the weather is lovely weather, vibe, people, people are really kind. The local, they are lovely. I have a close one of my closest friends. She's Maltese. Um, to be honest, like wow. Do you think that this is a so international? environment Malta that sometimes I feel like Malta is losing its own identity having so many international people I mean Maltese people anywhere they go they have to speak English exactly if they're on a bus the bus driver 99% is not Maltese if they go to the hospital the nurses the carers majority of them are not Maltese exactly yeah. when they have to go to the dentist the dentist might not be Maltese when they go to shops when they go to restaurants the waiters especially in the catering sector Maltese are non-existing they don't want to work for low money I don't blame them Maltese themselves are the ones that are going doing these prices and uh, salaries as well but anyway you know when I mo when I was moving to Malta in 2015 the first initial thought for me for me was oh my god I'm going to a country I'm gonna be the foreign guy <laughs> when I arrived here in 2015, I didn't feel like I'm a foreign guy. You, fer you feel like you were at home? It's, <laughs> yeah, it's an international environment. I want to get to the initial point of uh, the topic of this video, what we were saying about uh, moving to Malta and what people say online if it's a drawback and push away. I did video when on Expats Malta Facebook okay. group, I wrote down, is it still worth moving to Malta in 2024? Yeah, I saw it, yeah. And I get generated over 350 comments of people and the most like comments were actually a negative comments of people saying you should not move to Malta. Wow. I'm, I want to read out uh, some of them, two or three of them. And I want you to give me your opinion. Okay, pop on it, it up. <laughs> and when we finish with this, I want you to give me some advices of for other people that are planning to move to Malta. Okay, perfect. So, someone said, and it has 35 likes, yes, if you are earning 55,000 gross. Wow, <laughs> developer salary so when, <laughs> when you see a comment like this saying 55,000 gross, if you divide that to 12, it's like 4.5, 4, yeah, 4,500. Yeah, 4.800, something like that, yeah. So when you when you see something like this and you are doing a research about Malta, the first thing that you 
you think it's oh life is expensive uh, i think if i see something like that i was like uh, it's insane because if you check in other places in europe even if you go to spain which is our same language and everything it's really it's impossible almost two percent of people they earn that amount, that amount of, money. of money here due to it's a tiny island i think it's like how each person spend spends money, money you know because with that salary like that it's like a, you you want a luxurious life yeah. and at the beginning of course you can reach if you work hard you can reach, reach that, that point but i think it's quite delusional that yeah. coming in that way yeah. you know because According to you, what do you think that it's like a good amount of money per month for a single person to live in Malta? If you are single, as you said, I agree with you, like from 2,500 and yeah, above, but... I mean, like that was like 40, 40k per year, maybe in night gaming after taxes uh, is 2.5 thousand. That would be measurable to have a proper life, even mm -hmm. to save a lot of money, even for traveling. But even I, I met people with 2,000 who lives really comfortable. Re life. comfortable. Depends how you spend. Exactly, it's the way how you spend. What, also, how, how much you waste or sorry, spend on groceries. Yeah. Because you have little, you can do like I do something really nice, and that is a good advice for everyone. <laughs> Every week when I go to the supermarket, I go to Spar, Lidl, uh, Well, uh, Well Bees, Greens, and I compare the price for example <laughs> I used buy... to do videos like this comparing <laughs> exactly. prices exactly and I learned that from you to be honest <laughs> I was like I'm gonna get my cleaning stuff from let's say Lidl okay uh -huh. it's cheaper I have like a one liter of Blanche or something like that um, okay the um, the veggies I get it from Pama okay yeah. I want water okay I go to Pama I spend 30 euro and I get, get free water free water <laughs> so you know that's or smart. toilet yeah. paper I should make a video about this yeah that's a very good idea I'm gonna read one more Felipe um, so the to remind people the question was is it worth moving to Malta in 2024 at 36 likes on a comment that goes like this definitely not take it from a Maltese person desperate to leave expensive country run by greedy locals government full of filth lawless unless you're a woman then you have the law not on your side construction and chaos everywhere this is like imagine you are abroad and you're planning to do to, to move to malta you're doing a research you're seeing a stat status of someone me saying is it worth moving to malta and then you read the comments 350 and you find a maltese person saying this I think like from Maltese, I will go for second hand information, you know, like as to another local people. Mm -hmm. Maybe what I will do is like uh, maybe because we have different types of lives. So I go for another Maltese, check Maltese people there. Like, OK, because I know those comments, they are also positive uh, comments. I'm going to ask like, why? Why not? I compare. Mm -hmm. But if you are saying something like that is because you are really how can i say or you have problems in certain way yeah. or you have like you are not in the proper condition or i think it's more to the, create hate yes uh, felipe we can start concluding the video by you giving an advice to other people that are watching this video and they're planning to move to malta what oh. would you advise them okay for everyone something that i advise first is like if you are planning to move to this beautiful island, because it's beautiful, it's like, it has a lot of story. Firstly, I will say like, do a lot of research. Yeah. If you are looking for a job, if you are planning to study, I study watch here. <laughs> watch his YouTube. He has a really good information, to be honest. Okay. Um, <laughs> the thing is, first, do a lot of research. Search for what type of jobs are really well paid, which one are like your first job if you don't have a proper English. Um, also, uh, if you are planning to study here, check the university, the prices. There are not like universities, you can do like MQF, which is the framework of the studies here. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of institutions, you can have like a really good prices mm -hmm. and you can get like a degrees here, like, and you can pay by installments. Also, Working here in Malta, if you are planning to study, you can check universities online in Spain, in Germany, oh, okay. and those stuff are really cheap and really 
good, you know. Um, for war, guys, I recommend first check sectors. If it's like gaming and you have like, a, let's say, three months, four months, try to get involved in those skills that are needed here because at the end of the day, this island is looking for skilled workers. Yes. Yeah, and they give priority to those people. Um, that is my concern as to friends, as to people. You can contact me as well. I am really open. Yeah, I'm going to link your social media. Yes, you can well. talk to me. Like, uh, I'm going to be really honest with you. I, I don't want to make up. I don't want to take advantage of people, you know, yeah. because there are a lot of people like, OK, I sell my service for this. You're going to enjoy. No, I'm going to be really transparent. I don't have to hide anything, but check the prices, the groceries, compare in other countries, mm -hmm. because maybe you can fit here. If it's not here, maybe you can move to another country. Yeah, yeah. Felipe. What you don't like about Malta? <laughs> well, I think like, to be honest, like, we are lack of trees, nature. Mm. To be honest, like... And what we have, we chop off most. <laughs> exa wow, that was insane, yeah. but okay, like, you know, like, those stuff. I'm not trees. from here. Trees. Mm -hmm. um, because the weather quality, due to we have the Sahara that are close to yeah. the Africa, the pollution is quite tough sometimes. Um, I think a lot of cars, the parking is impossible here. Yeah. You drive or you don't drive? Sometimes I used to drive one friend car just because okay. he's, she's learning parking. And I was explaining to her like how to park <laughs> in a cliff. But a cliff? <laughs> <laughs> you're learning, <laughs> teaching someone to park in a cliff. <laughs> because she lives in a cliff. I was like, OK, but <laughs> but finding a parking here is really it's difficult. It's a bingo. Yeah. yeah, you have to be really lucky because even so, at night, Felipe, thank you so much. No, thank, thank you to you, Thank you Alex. for taking the time to share your experience, to give advices to people. I think it's been an amazing video. Sorry, guys, it might be like 25 to 30 minutes. <laughs> but I think it was this video is packed with so much information that it's going to be very helpful for other people, even for the Maltese that are watching this. Yes, yeah, really so I'm going to say something for Maltese, like Maltese, Thank you for allowing us to work here. Oh, um, so sweet. I have a lot of friends from Malta. They are really lovely people. I never had bad experience, to be honest, nice. any racism or something like that. Not even me. Um, yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> yet. <laughs> but they are nice. Um, guys, feel free to contact me. If you one day like see me here, you can say hi, we can have a seat, talk. I'm a really friendly person. I can share my yes, experience yeah. with people <laughs> with my, from my country. And Colombia. Yeah, <laughs> Colombia, actually, Latin American as well, Latinos in total, in general, sorry. But do it, like, feel free. I don't know if I can leave my social media here. Yeah, of course. You so can. my social media is Swagfell. It's me, like, I'm going to spell for you, which is like S-W-A-G-F-E-L. You can contact me on Instagram and I will be happy to help you, okay? That would be 300 And thank euros. you, thank you for, <laughs> for you, Alex. You are amazing. Thank you so much, Felipe. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy that we did this. I'm happy that we might have helped to a lot of people. Thank you for spending the time. It's boiling hot. We I are, know it's like, what? How many degrees it's I today? I think it's 25th. More than 25 degrees. It's incredible. We are doing this on the 3rd of April. By the way, guys, in 11 days, it's my birthday, 14th of April, and I'm doing a live stream at 2 p.m. Malta time. <laughs> okay, that's nice. It is... Tw it's 20, 19. 19? Yeah. It feels like 25. It's, it's say like, uh, it feels <laughs> like... <laughs> Insane. I think it's... It feels like 35. It's no way. Guys, wow. thank you so much for watching this video. Felipe, one more time, thank you so thank much you, for Alex. being here. Thank you to you. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like it down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. And until I see you in my next one. Bye. Ciao. That was amazing. Thank you Thank to you. Thank you so much. No, I try my best. Wow.